Hi everybody and welcome to the bride. Why did you jump again? <laughs> I'm she like... do it. <laughs> She's talking. She's very loud. <laughs> welcome to the Bride Guide 101 and today we're going to be looking at tea length dresses and underskirt situations. So we are going to be looking at um, different layers and how those layers look as well, whether they're more of a smooth layer or a bit of a more of a ruching because it does make a difference. Yeah and I think if you want, if you're having a tea length dress, sometimes it can be really gentle the way you want to come out or or you can have it like this one, more of like a 50s sort of style, and how those underskirts can affect, they're gonna bring it out a little bit more, make it a bit more fun. There's also talk, um, we haven't gotten here today, but some brides will have like blue. Yeah, like a bit of a kind colour, so yeah. you sat down and stuff. And you might be wondering why Jen's got tights on with the dress, but we're not talking about it. Somebody didn't tell me we were doing tea length today, ladies, so I didn't shave my legs, no. okay? <laughs> she said, I was like, so oh. I'm saving you. <laughs> Out, no one will see shot. No, I'm wearing my tights. So we've got tea length with the tights look today. It's a look, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so the first one we're gonna look at, if I grab it. So this is the dress with no underskirts. As I said, there's already petty coats with this dress. You've got one and two. So it's nice full look already. It does sometimes. feel quite full actually. Yeah, isn't you it? might want a little bit more. So we'd look, you won't want to hoop with a a tea length dress for a couple of reasons because it'll make it too structured and I think the whole fun element of a tea length dress is movement mm. and actually you don't need it taken off your legs because it's not hitting your ankles so we're looking at layers today and how many layers and the difference that makes to your dress. So the first one we've got is this one. This one with the lace, it's got two layers, they're quite ruffly and by that I mean the way it's come together and it's gathered into pleats, you can see it's sat out um, quite full already. already. It's quite full, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so we're going to pop this on and see the difference it makes for her gem and her dress and her tights. Okay, then, so we've put the skirt on now, and I think you can see it's brought it out more here, it's kicking it out a little bit more and making like a fuller skirt. Gem said, just said, because I think I prefer it. I prefer it. I yeah. quite like it. I, actually, I thought it felt quite big already, but now I've got it on, I feel like my waist feels a little bit smaller and it feels quite much more fun and sort of kicked out. This is the look of these dresses, really, isn't it? If you want it like this, so yeah. it's okay for it to be bigger. Like that's that's fun. It's, yeah, it's fine. I think it looks it's good. quite good, and it feels um, more lighter actually. Yeah, because yeah, it's off me. And I think the next dress we're going to look at with the, this dress with the underskirt is a layering. So I think it's three or two. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. But it's a smoother yeah. petticoat rather than, than the ruching. Because with this one, remember, it's good like job I have got my tights on in it. <laughs> Just really. <laughs> James here naked for YouTube. <laughs> but they were Anything for those likes. <laughs> but this is slightly more ruffled, so that's where you're getting that fuller look. So we're going to compare it with the next underskirt. Right then, so up next we've got our next underskirt for the T length dress. As you can see, these are smooth petticoats compared to the last one. I had quite a ruffled pleated look to it. We've got three layers. So the last one was two layers. So we've added a layer, but they're smoother. And you can see the difference that it's makes. It's going to be interesting because I don't feel like that's going to make much difference. Yeah, and I think you can see the difference with this petticoat. So we're going to look at the difference this makes to Gemini dress. Okay, so we've popped it on the uh, three layers with the smoother petticoats. And I think you see this is slightly more gentle. It has brought it out, but it's a slightly less rah rah -ry look, isn't it? Compared to yeah, the, last the other one. one felt a bit more fun. I don't yeah. know why, because it's just a petticoat. But this feels a bit more gentle, whereas the other one I was like, ooh, it feels like it's all. Yeah, I think out. the other one, it came out slightly more because you've got that layers mm. and the ruffles of those underskirts bring it out slightly more here. Yeah. You can see that it's just dropped that little bit now. So if you do want more of a gentle look, considering your layering, keeping it really smooth and gentle with it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Then, so our final underskirt, looking at underskirts for T-length dresses, is a five layer underskirt. So we've got five petticoats with this one. As you can see, it's slightly more fuller than the last one we had. Uh, and you can see that with those more layers, it's bringing out more. But I was just saying to Gem, as I picked it up, this does feel heavier. Yeah, than the and last these ones. feel a bit stiffer, actually. Yeah. I suppose maybe it's a quality thing. Maybe they are a bit more of a better quality, but they do feel a little bit stiffer. They're holding their shape more yeah. as well. And I think this is going to bring the dress out. Um, and we'll see how it looks. Have Gem in the five layer T length underskirt. And what I was just saying to Gem, as she was walking around, it feels like it's coming out here a little bit more with this dress. Not sure I like that either so yeah. much. It feels like it's definitely bringing it out more. It's the more structure. I can feel it. Yeah. Whereas with the first one, it was like smooth and then out, which yeah. made me feel a little bit smaller. Whereas I feel with this one, 
it's it's like adding it where I don't it's really want it. It's definitely bringing out here more yeah. more useful. Something else That's what you consider. Want, if you want to really feel full with it and like move more and bring it out as much as possible, this is your bigger option. So you need more layers. So if you do want a full underskirt with your T-length dress, it's layers again, ladies. Right then, so that's it today for our T-length underskirts. And I just wanted to show the difference because I think, you know, as we've had a play, and Jem did say, I think it's been really as you've played with them, how they feel is different. Yeah, and I think actually the best thing you can do is if you can try them on, so if you've got a bridal shop near you who sells them, is go and try them on because yeah. um, with the three that we've tried on, I instantly felt better with number yeah. one. So number one, and if we compare, Jen, if you want to hold that yeah. one for me. So this one, you've got kind of tiered system and the ruching of the petticoats because there's only two petticoats in this one, but, but comparing it to the last one, which was generally the same sort of look, you can see... And this this being longer was personally better for me. Yes. Because it, it sort of smoothed me out and then went out, whereas this was like kicking out right where yeah. I didn't want it. The petticoats so were like kicking the... out higher yeah. with the last dress, even though it's got the same sort of look because the, this has got more layers, but these are quite fuller because of that ruching. But also, more importantly, where the layers are coming out, this yeah. is higher. Where do they start? And that's why it's this one sat higher. Yeah. That's number one, Jen's favourite. And uh, we'll see you all again soon, ladies, on the Bride Guide 101 with Jim and Jade.